Lee, thanks for joining us. Just your assessment of, of what you've watched this afternoon. A uh, real good round, all-round performance from the players. Um, the amount of energy they put into the game, um, the tempo of the game was how we wanted it to look. Um, obviously, the goal that we conceded could, could be a setback. Um, and then we, I'm so pleased for them. Ryan mentioned us. I'm so pleased for them. They got one before half time, and then it just gives us that momentum going into the second half. But a, a real good all round performance. That just shows what the team's made of, what the squad's made of. What happened with that first goal? Yeah, and that's, that's down to character and belief in terms of what we're trying to look for. If, you know, the opportunities were there for us um, to hurt them down the sides, um, and we did that. Um, what I would say, Shiloh's run from a really good ball from, from Ryan Cooney um, was excellent. I'm delighted for him to get another couple of goals. But I'm not just going to pinpoint anyone. I thought it was all round the, the substitutes who come on, played their part. I thought it was a real squad effort and uh, the game looked like we wanted it to look. One thing that's happened for you in the last week or so is he managing players to get minutes under the belt, but he's given you some hard tasks as well to select your starting eleven. I guess there was one or two decisions you had to make this week after Tuesday night were hard ones. They are, they're always hard um, decisions. That's the hardest part of, of the job, um, is letting players down. Um, but everybody will get opportunities. Um, I think we've used 23 players or something like that, a, a high number of players. Um, so everyone will get opportunities. They know that they're only a kick away, aren't they, um, from getting back on the pitch. Um, but we also look to change teams with what the opposition are doing. We're not afraid to do that. But it's a real uh, a squad effort um, and there is going to be moments moments when people are disappointed um, and them lads out there have made my decision what we do next weekend even harder with players that we've got coming back. The players seem to be enjoying it as well you know it seems they're enjoying the football. You've got to enjoy being a footballer um, you have to um, I just walk behind them sometimes just saying how lucky they are because um, you have to enjoy it um, one of my biggest criticisms, criticisms of myself, I, I didn't fully enjoy it um, all the time, but they've got to enjoy it, um, particularly when you're doing well. That brings togetherness with what they're doing, uh, a drive to get better all the time, and I think we can see that within the squad. Shallow Tracy is one of those players that you've had to just move around for accommodate what you've got available to, to select, but he's certainly turning on, isn't he, down the middle, scoring goals now. Yeah, and I, again, I'm delighted for him because you can never question what, what he's trying to do in the game. He works hard and he has the most amount of sprints in the game which you can imagine with the pace he's got and the, the pleasing thing is today again he's arriving in the right area his ball's coming into the box and he's getting in between the goal posts um, around the six yard box so really pleased for him because I think his all round game is massively improved um, in terms of hold up play bringing players into play making good decisions um, and it's just really pleasing for him um, to get a couple of goals You said to us on Tuesday night that you've got a lot of confidence and faith in Owen Lund you handed him his first football league start he's had a start in the, in the cup competition but it's his first football league start and once again it shows if you perform and work hard at it you can get your chance Yeah absolutely and I thought he was really good Owen um, he's so tenacious um, he, he, the energy he can bring to the team and that's what we wanted it to look like we wanted it to be energetic um, through the middle of the pitch and I thought they were that and not just Owen um, Tabs and, and Max as well I thought Max was really good in terms of dictating play but, but Owen that, that's what Owen is and he, he knows what he is he knows what he's good at um, and he gets on with it keeps his head down and it, he'll ob obviously get more opportunities as the season goes on I like that word tenacious because I'm going to bring another player in talk about tenacious and that's Adrian Thibault he really is at it isn't he you know he, he's got this chance he's got this opportunity he's not wasting it yeah talk about what we've just said about being lucky he, he, he's really enjoying um, the platform that he's, he's now working within um, I just want one to deflect in for him and go in because he's working ever so hard you, you won't want to play against him he gets his body in the way he runs down the channels nicely he's good at defending from the front um, so again that's another massive bonus we've got the football club in terms of what the recruitment have been able to do to bring a player in like Adrian. You've said many times that your players and yourself and your management team included have to get the fans on their side and give them something to cheer about. They must be enjoying what they're seeing. The fans? Yeah. I, I hope so, yeah. Um, I think we're in a good good position. We'll go about our business nice and quietly. What I would say is the uh, they were brilliant again today, um, backing the players. They've come up with a nice song for Shiloh, haven't they? Which was on in the dressing room afterwards, which is a catchy one. But, you know, home and away, um, we need the support to continue um, with what they've shown today and what they showed on Tuesday night. 